Hello, ladies and gents. Welcome to week nine of our English 101 class. Hooray. Great work. We're in week nine. That's amazing. There's only 12. So you're very close to being done. So bravo. Pat on the back. Round of applause. All that good stuff. Uh, this week you are working on writing your project three essay, which is, of course, also very exciting because you've worked on the thesis statement, you're gathering research, you're compiling your ideas, and you're putting to them together today in an outline that follows a logical structure that we make sure we're clearly connecting ideas, all of that good stuff. So we are turning in the outline for points today. This is the first time we're turning in an outline for points um, because this project is big. Like, not only is it big because it's worth a lot of points, but it's big because you're dealing with big ideas and you're dealing with a lot of research. And so it's additionally important to have a really strong logical structure before you get into writing the essay because it'll be so easy to get kind of lost in the weeds in this essay. Um, so we really need to have that outline to kind of be our roadmap to keep us on track so we don't go off on little rabbit trails and little tangents too much. Tiny bits, okay, but not like crazy. So this is our roadmap for writing the essay, and I wanted to make sure we all are making a map. So that's why we're actually turning it in this time. Um, so you're going to want to follow through that. I've got videos in the modules tab that walk you through the entire outline process, like going from prompt to thesis statement to outline. The whole process, step by step, is in the modules folder. So um, please check that out. It will help you out so, so much as you write this essay. Uh, also remember that the amazing CBC librarians are available to help you if you're struggling finding your research. They know all the things about the library. Uh, a great thing to do when you ask the librarians for help is to also provide them a copy of the prompt for the essay um, or a link to one of my instructional videos about the essay or even the outline because that really helps them see specifically what kind of information you're looking for about your particular case. Um, so when you call the librarians, when you email them, all of that, give them as much information as possible so that they can give you the very best sources back. Um, this is also true if you make an appointment with the CBC Writing Center. The more information you can give them up front, the better feedback you're going to get from them. Um, and then the better your essay is going to be because you will have had all of that support and all those resources coming together um, to really hone your writing, which is fabulous. So uh, take advantage of all those resources we have. We are going to also be compiling that research into an annotated bibliography. And I've got a video in the modules that shows you exactly how to do an annotated bibliography. This is um, basically a research journal. However, it is highly format driven. That's where lots of the points come in this assignment is from the format. So do make sure that you are watching the video, first of all, and then you're following the template that I've provided for you that has the format specifically written in um, so that you can be successful there. So make sure you're doing those things uh, for your annotated bibliography. You just need three sources in the annotated bib. Um, so make sure you're gathering those. Uh, and then we are doing our first round of peer review. Yay! Um, <laughs> I'm excited. I don't know if you're excited. Maybe you're not as excited as I am. That's okay. We'll get there. Uh, we're doing that on the 17th. So make sure you've got at least the first half of your essay done by then. So I'm talking like at least four or five full paragraphs with sources. Everything looks really good in those four or five paragraphs. If you've got the whole essay done by then, amazing. So, so good. You're going to get such better feedback. But if you're still in the process of writing, make sure you have at least four or five full paragraphs with cited research in those paragraphs uh, and a work cited page. And it should all be in MLA format so that your reader can really help you make sure you're getting the most out of this session and the most out of your points. So make sure you are reaching out for help there uh, and getting that done. Because if we take a look ahead, because it's always good to kind of like know where we're going, uh, next week, you are turning in the annotated bibliography. That's the research journal. It is research that you are doing for project three. Three sources that you're going to use in project three should be on your annotated bibliography. If you use more sources in the essay, you don't have to put them on the annotated bibliography. I only need three sources on the annotated bib. That's it. So only put those three on there. Don't put more. Just three. Three that you're going to use on the essay. Uh, someone always gets confused and thinks that the annotated bibliography and the essay are the same thing. They're not the same thing. The essay is an essay 
and the annotated bibliography is a highly stylized document that just tells me what sources you used and why you thought they were good sources. Um, so different. They're different assignments. They're both about the same topic. They're both about project three topic. Um, and you will use the sources from the annotated bibliography in the essay, uh, but they are two different documents. Um, and I clear that up even more in the video. So make sure you watch those. Um, but someone every quarter gets them mixed up. So I just want to like get ahead of that if we can. Um, so it's a different document. The annotated bibliography is due on the 20th. So make sure you've got that done. Uh, and then Thanksgiving week, you're going to be working on revising and perfecting your essay. We don't have school Thursday. We don't have school Friday. Uh, those days are days off. You've got a nice long weekend for Thanksgiving. Um, then you're going to work on revising some more and you're turning in that project three cultural analysis on the 28th. It's coming. So uh, keep that in mind as you are planning your next week. I know lots of us have holidays, family things, um, friends, celebrations, food, you name it. Uh, next week tends to get busy with social engagements. But if you know that you have the final draft of Project 3 due on the 28th, keep that in mind. If that means you need to work really hard this week to get it done, and then you're just tweaking and revising the next week so that you have time for all that social stuff, awesome. If you don't have a lot of social stuff and you know you can work on it all week, also awesome. But just plan ahead. Don't wait until midnight on the 28th to try and get this thing done because it's not it's not going to come together well, right? So work ahead, uh, plan your time wisely and well, because uh, that's where we're headed with this. After that, we're going to be working on a reflective letter, and then we're done. So like we're so close to being done, guys. Hang in there. Uh, hang in there. You got this. So if we look at our resources in our class, if we go into the modules folder, slowly, uh, and we go into project three, We've got the essay subheader here, just like in all our other projects, the recorded lecture for the prompt, the case list, and the outline. And then, um, and this is parts one and two. This is 15 minutes, this is five minutes. It's really worth watching. Uh, these will walk you through the entire process. So please, please, please watch that if you haven't already. And then here is the annotated bibliography walkthrough. If you haven't watched it already, I. I beg you, I beg you, I beg you, I beg you, please watch this one um, because it will help you so, 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 so much. Because this is a highly format driven document. If you don't have the little checklist of things, then you don't get any points for those things. And this is an easy place to earn a big chunk of points right before the end of the quarter is this annotated bibliography because literally I am looking for, is there a citation in MLA format? Yeah, good. Did you follow the template I gave you? Yeah, good. Did you write an annotation that tells me why you think the source is a good source for your essay? Yeah, all right, that's all you have to do to get all of the points. That's it, those are the three things I'm looking for. I'm not grading your grammar. I'm not looking at your sentence structure or transitions. I'm not looking at any of that. I'm just looking at those three things. So I want to give you points. As like a happy almost end of the quarter, here are some points but you have to earn them, right? Like, but this is an easier place to earn them than the essay. Essays are much harder to earn points. So this is easier. So watch this video so that you can get all of these good points before you get to project three essay that you turn in. Yeah, sound good? Awesome. Also, as always, you can take your writing to the CBC Writing Center. Uh, I do recommend making an appointment because toward the end of the quarter, they tend to fill up really fast. And so if you're trying to just do a drop by, they might not be available. So please make an appointment with them. Here is a video on how to make an appointment and how to get extra credit for that appointment. Uh, and also bring the prompt for the essay because that will really help them give you directed feedback. Um, so you can go to the Writing Center up to three times in the quarter. So if you've not gone to the Writing Center at all yet, and you haven't earned any of those extra credit points, there are 30 points laying around for you to earn. You just would have to make three appointments and go to three appointments at the writing center with your essay. Um, so food for thought. If you're looking at the end of the quarter and you're like, mm, my grade is not what I wanted it to be, now is the time to do something about it. Finals week is not the time to do something about it because finals week, the only thing you can do is build a time machine and go back in time and make different choices, right? So like <laughs> there's nothing you can do finals week. If you don't like your grade, we're kind of out of time, right? But now 
is a good time to look at your grade. And if it's not a grade that is making your heart go pitter patter uh, in a happy way, go to the writing center, go a couple times, get some extra credit points, boost up that grade, really help yourself out. So that's my little soapbox for today. Uh, I'm excited to see how your annotated bibliographies come together. I'm excited to see how your drafts come together. As always, if you have questions, reach out. I'm here to help.